our next guest is a person with a strong relationship with the Rogaldwoud University. Uh, he's a former Dean of the Faculty of Justice and has been a professor in criminal law and its processes. He left us in 2011 to become a judge at the Dutch Supreme Court. Welcome, Mr. Ivo Burma. You left the university in 2011? Yeah. Do you miss us? Definitely. It, I have had such a wonderful time because it's a great university. But on the other hand, it's a very nice job to be just as in the Supreme Court as well. So, but I miss it, yes. I, I, the, the lectures with the students as well as what we as, as professors in the law faculty always do is teaching uh, professionals. So teaching judges, teaching uh, attorneys and so on. Nowadays I sometimes do that as well and then I feel myself to be a little bit of a professor still, but I'm not. Do you miss that the most, uh, teaching other uh, judges how to, how to judge? No, I'm, I'm doing that. Okay. Teaching yeah. judges, that's the moment that resembles a little bit at what I was doing then. But of course, teaching students, I miss good. that. I, I don't do that anymore. And uh, for instance, we have here in Radboud University this uh, honors program. Yeah. And I loved teaching these honors classes. That was great. Yeah, yeah. In, in your TED talk this morning, um, you spoke about the distrust in the judiciary. Um, is there more distrust than in the past? No. Um, I try to explain that there is uh, definitely within the population not more distrust than in the past. Um, and the trust in the judiciary is higher than in many other um, uh, institutions of public life like uh, parliament or government and things like that. But politicians and opinion leaders have the idea that trust is declining. And I have tried to explain why we have this discrepancy between what the population thinks, no lowering of distrust, which you can see in polls, and what the opinion leaders think, that it is lowering. But, but maybe it is um, because people do sometimes feel that the punishments are too low, if you have polls about that. Yes, but that is it. Punishment too low is something where, that you see everywhere. Even in the United States, there is no country where punishment is so high, the population thinks popula punishment is too low. That cannot be the explanation. We have always had population that thought judges were too low in punishing. Uh, we were an, an, a research object for American uh, researchers, how it came to be that in the Netherlands the punishments increased so incredibly. We were from the lowest punishing country of Europe, we are now in the top quarter. How could that be? Well, so that has nothing to do with trust. Uh, my position is that it, uh, it, it, the reason is that on the one hand politicians and government themselves are nowadays subject of the uh, um, of the courts. Yes. In in the past, government was just looking at what a judge is doing. But nowadays, government itself is in the bench. They have to defend what they did before the judge. That, that's a one important thing. And the second important thing I try to show is that politicians and opinion leaders always think in generalities. And in the newspapers, you. You, if you see an example, it's always an example of a trend or of a policy that should come. A judge never thinks in trends, never thinks in policy. He looks at the particular case. So these opinion leaders and politicians then think, how can we trust this guy who doesn't speak in our language of policy? You were, you were attacked by, by politicians uh, in the past personally, yeah, by the PV, the Dutch thing. Freedom uh, Party. Uh, did that make you lose your trust in, in the politicians? No, because then you could see that in the end the uh, parliament was deciding on me entering the Supreme Court and the, the, the overwhelming majority of, the, of parliament said let Burma be the, just, the next justice. So it worked. And there was this discussion, and of course, it, 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 it is, we were not accustomed to it. It's not like in the United States, where you always see this fight. I, I was the first example of such a fight. Yeah. That, that was, in a way, a pity, because I really think it is important that ju judges are being appointed and are to be appointed because of what they can and not about, uh, 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 because of their opinions. 
Yeah, but yeah. It, it, it was a bit of a... Yeah, but then it was definitely about my opinions. Yes, sure, sure. So in the end, you, you actually stayed uh, distrust uh, is not rising. No. Uh, politicians, uh, they feel uh, tr threatened maybe because they are in the bench right now. Uh, and that is the case uh, why it is. Yeah. That is too fast for me it's, it, because it's a tendency with, that has grown over 40 years and it is more that it is more interesting what the judge do, does now because it immediately reflects on politics. If some school or some uh, hospital is being sued, it can have direct consequences for the for politicians. politicians. And, and that is so different compared to the 1960s when everyone in politics trusts just judges. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you very much for joining, uh, joining me here. Uh, enjoy the rest of the day. There are some amazing speeches to come. Um, we would love to hear your questions, your remarks on today. Uh, you could send them uh, on Twitter to us at, at Compass and Build or hashtag TEDxRadboutYou. Uh, stay tuned uh, for our last interviews. They're going to be great.